every student we serve in our schools, whether or not they have a significant disability, uh, needs support to be successful academically and socially. And so when we talk about natural supports, we're talking about those supports that already exist in a classroom for any student. Uh, that may be a teacher, it may be uh, an additional school staff, but often those natural supports are the peers who are also part of that classroom. And so what we're really trying to do is encourage students with significant disabilities to have opportunities to draw upon the same supports that others in that setting would also draw upon. In a classroom, that might mean turning to a classmate for help with an assignment. It might mean turning to a classmate for help navigating kind of a, a social problem or a social challenge. It might be turning to someone else for help kind of managing your classwork or your school day. And so for students with significant disabilities, instead of often turning to those peers, they might rely more heavily on that educational assistant. So one of the opportunities for us is to think about what are the supports that naturally exist in that setting they may be supports that aren't paid to be there or supports that have to be sort of strategically set up, but the supports that already exist there. How do we help our students connect to those supports as the first line of participation?